And on day 22 of week four, we're going to talk about SMART goals. The S stands for Pacific. The M stands for Measurable, because you've got to measure your goals to know if they're working. The A stands for whether it's actionable. Can you do something for this goal to be accomplished. It's not much good having a goal if you there's no actions that you can take towards it. The R, is it realistic? It wouldn't be a very realistic goal for me to have a goal to be an astronaut. And T is for, is it time-based? You need to say you have a goal that you wish to reach in six months a year, two years, you need to have a time on that. Otherwise, it's a wish. You're wishing for something, but without a time, there's no reason for you to make any action steps and put yourself out for it. So specific, measurable, action, realistic, and time. That's why they, they're called SMART goals. So please think of that when you're doing your goals. So what are your goals? Do you ask yourself, what do you want in the remaining years of your life? Whether you're 50 years old, 40 years old, whether you're young with children, whether you're empty nester, are you just retired and you're thinking about what else you want to do in your life? Are you in your 80s and you're thinking, okay, I have you know another 10, 20 years. How do I want the last part of my life to be? Don't let your future just happen. Create your future to be what you want, not just that it drifts along and the next thing you know, your future has been used up. Your time is the most precious thing that you have. Close your eyes and I'm gonna ask you these questions and I want you to really close your eyes and think about these things. So where do I want to live? What would I like to weigh? What do I want to do in the next six months? Where would I like to travel? Would I like to meet some new people? How would I like to, or would I like to pay off a bill earlier? Would I like to learn a new skill? These are all things that if you answer them, they could give you an indication about what your goals will be. Assume that you are going to take control of your life. This is all assuming that you're not just going to drift along, that you're going to take control of what you want moving forward by setting some goals. I want you to repeat, I will not settle for less than what I can be. I will not settle for less than what I can be. I am valuable. I am entitled to live my life to the fullest. I meant to live my life to the fullest. I will not accept less than what I can be. And sometimes we go through our whole life not understanding that. So this is your time of life to really think about the fact that you're not going to settle for less than what you can be. So some of the things underneath your personal growth is do you want to write a book or start a business or declutter your home or learn to be a public speaker? Do you want to swim with the dolphins, have your hair totally cut into a different style and a different color. Some of your goals don't have to be crazy goals. They can just be a goal for you. What would you like to do? Would you want to have a time when you can write an article for a newspaper? Do you want to be able to go horseback riding? How about you want to learn to paint? Remodel your ba bathroom or your bedroom by yourself. Go deep sea fishing, sharpen up your wardrobe by having a person come and tell you your colors and what you need to do. Do you want to challenge yourself? Do you want to learn a foreign language? Do you want to stop blaming others for your stuff? It's just, just taking this course is a goal that you have reached that once you get to the end of it, that's a great goal and it only requires a little bit of time every morning and to understand that you're in control of this. It's just a short little preview into what the rest of the week will be. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.